Alright everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to join in the round so that you can start knitting your hat. I've switched um, over to this yellow just to show you how to join in the round because it's a little bit easier to see with the lighter color. So um, this will be the same for both of the versions of hats, whether you're doing the knit one pearl one ribbed hat or the rolled brim hat. So either way, you're going to follow these steps. So first things first, you're going to have um, quite a bit of a yarn tail left over from your long tail cast on. So the first thing that we want to do is trim that down. So you want to cut it at about six to eight inches so that we have enough to weave in that end later. So simply cut it and discard that bit of a tail there. The next thing that we need to do is we need to have our stitch marker handy because we're going to be using that when we join in the round. Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have no twists in your knitting. So when you cast on the stitches, sometimes you're going to see that um, you can see a twist right here, for example. Um, as you're casting on, you want to make sure once you're finished that you get rid of any twists. So to do that, just lay your knitting down flat. And you're going to see, if you just go kind of along the needle, you want to just make sure that all of your stitches are facing the same direction. So all you're going to do if you see a twist is simply rotate those stitches around to remove that twist. So if you don't correct that twist now, you won't be able to do it once you get started on your project. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually join it in the round so that we can just keep knitting and knitting around. So important thing to note here is you have two tails now. You want to make sure that you don't start knitting with your, your tail, but that you're knitting with your working yarn. Very important. So what I'm going to do next is we are going to place our stitch marker on the right hand needle. You'll notice that my working yarn is here on my right hand needle. So when I start knitting the first stitch over here on my left hand needle, I'm going to be, that's what's going to join it. So I'm going to put my marker here. That shows me that when I get back to this marker that I've completed a round. Now all I have to do to join is to simply knit the first stitch. As I do that, you're going to see that we are now joined in the round. My stitches are all connected now, and I'm simply going to keep knitting. So it's easy as that. So you're going to knit all the way around your needle. When you get back to that stitch marker, that means that you've finished a row. For the rolled brim hat, you are going to knit until um, the length indicated on the pattern. You're just simply going to knit around and around and around until you get to the desired length. If you are somebody who'd like to learn how to do the ribbed hat, um, follow, go to the next video and I will show you how to do the knit one pearl one ribbing. If you're somebody who's doing the rolled brim hat, you can just skip over that video and meet me at the next one. So as you're approaching the end of your first row, you're going to come back to that stitch marker. So I have two more stitches to knit. When you get to that stitch marker, it means that you have finished your first row. Simply switch the marker, slip it from the left needle to the right needle, and that means you're ready to start your next row. All you do is just slip it from one needle to the next, and then you just keep knitting. And again, you're just going to keep knitting around and around and around until you get to the indicated length on the pattern. Happy knitting!